Hi. So you think that weight loss can happen with a good diet plan? What if I told you that you and I, we can eat the exact same food and one of us will gain weight but other person will not gain any weight. You must have also experienced that there are some people who say that pani aur sukhi roti bhi lag jati hai. Meaning to say that they can eat very simple healthy food and they still keep gaining weight. On the other hand, there are those people who are so blessed that they can eat all the desserts and chole bhature every weekend and they never gain weight. They always stay slim. So if you know this, then why are you believing the people who are telling you that your diet is the most important thing for weight loss? Okay, here's another one. You think, okay, dieting is not the thing, but exercising is definitely going to give weight loss. Are Baba, have you seen sumo wrestlers? How much exercise they do? Have you seen them lose weight? What about all the athletes, like wrestlers who uh, fight in the heavy weight categories? They are bulky. They don't lose weight because of all the sweat they put in. Five to six hours of just sweating it out. But they don't lose weight. Even think about our Bollywood choreographers. Yaar. We have some really overweight choreographers who will not lose weight even though they sweat it out. Day in and day out, it's their job. Oh, seriously, if we can't be that active more than six hours in a day, can you just spend exercising in order to lose weight? So, and if anything less than that, so definitely cannot work if six and five hours is also not working. So what we have realized is that number one, diet doesn't seem to be the answer. Number two, sweating it out also doesn't seem to be the answer. Then what's going on? Bhai? Are we like completely at the mercy of the weight gods, whatever weight they make us, we have to live with it. Hi, I'm Garima. I'm a health psychologist. And for the last more than 12 years, I've been working in the field of mind and body medicine, meaning how our mind and body works together to create health and disease. And that's one thing that I can tell you with complete honesty that your body weight and mine is not a body level issue. And just diet or exercise cannot give us lifelong health or weight loss. So then what is going on? See, we need one more piece, which means we need to be a, in a state of mind where we respect ourselves so much that we know that I can right now make one more aluka paratha and eat it and nobody is watching. Or that there's nobody here, it's late in the night and I can take two more servings of ice cream. But I don't want to. I don't want to. Because I don't want to torture my body with all this extra food that then it has to deal with. It's my body. It's not a dustbin. I don't want to put anything unnecessary in it. You need to be a person who has the state of mind who says, but I love to move. If you believe that the way to relax is to just sit in front of the TV all Saturday, all Sunday, and at least watch six hours of TV on Saturday and Sunday, then definitely so many of your body's systems will just go for a toss because the body is not designed to be sitting in one place. We have long legs, did you notice? And they are meant to keep us moving, right? So the, the thing is that definitely our food, our diet has a role to play but not the way we think about dieting. Dieting is something that you do temporary. Temporarily, you'll leave alu or you'll leave ghee or you'll leave tail or you'll leave chapati and rice and everything. But that can never give you health for life. Temporary changes will only give you temporary benefits after which everything comes back. In fact, now the body is like a, a very scared uh, uh, child. It's thinking, oh my God, suddenly someday, you know, she might stop eating ghee or uh, chawal. 
सो वॉट एवर यू आर ईटिंग इवन सुखी रोटी इट्स मेकिंग इन टू फैट एंड स्टोरिंग बिकॉज यू मे नो नॉट नो दिस बायोलॉजी बिकॉज इट्स अबव द स्कूल बायोलॉजी दैट यू लर्न बट आर बॉडी इज परफेक्टली केपेबल ऑफ कन्वर्टिंग एनी काइंड ऑफ कार्बोहाइड्रेट इवन सुखी रोटी इन टू फैट एंड देन पुटिंग इट इन लेयर्स ऑन आर बेली अराउंड आर लिवर एंड इंटरनल ऑर्गन्स एंड बेसिकली मेकिंग अस लुक फैट you can be fat without eating fat so that's about the food that food is important but not in the sense of dieting secondly activity like i said activity is really important because that's what our body is designed for but not in the way that you understand uh, you know taking a fitness trainer where you're you don't want to go you hate working out but you're sort of punishing yourself you you hate your body you hate the way you look and as a punishment for looking this way you say no i'm going to pay 10000 rupees to this personal trainer and i'll make him yell at me and shout at me and make me do till i'm sore and achy it's like a punishment so activity in this sense just creates more stress releases more stress hormones and it is very very unhealthy and not sustainable you can do it for 2 months if you are a super human will power you can do it for 3 months then you leave it the moment you leave it what will you do you'll sit with a bag of chips in front of the tv and then what will happen you will gain your weight back so activity is important in the sense that you know you just feel so nice doing something that you'd rather move than sit and thirdly you have to be that person who has this frame of mind so much respect for your own body so much love for yourself that you are choosing wonderful healthy juicy things to eat and you're choosing to move and you are not in the state of mind to punish yourself because only then and you are also choosing to relax yourself if you have a stressful job stressful role in life you're choosing to make sure that you definitely relax yourself you so that your stress hormones can just go away and you trust yourself you trust your body you trust that you can metabolize everything you can digest everything that you eat so these are the three things that food is important moving is important but it's really really important to have the right state of mind in which alone you can have wonderful health